One of the most important emphases of CBAL for cognitively based assessment of for and as learning is to advance theory in mathematics and science and in the English language arts so that we can create new approaches to assessment that integrate advances in the learning sciences and in content standards, in measurement and in technology. That foundation takes the form of competency models and learning progressions that we create. Context and motivation are part of the modern theories of the learning sciences. You can't actually say, this skill emerges at this age and that's all there is to it. In fact, this skill emerges precisely because people are embedded in a context that makes the skill valued and gives people a reason to develop those skills. If you create a context where a skill is valued, students can reach a much higher level of expertise much faster. Traditional thinking about the English language arts focuses on constructs like reading and writing. Our thinking has led us in a direction based on learning sciences research to break things up slightly differently. We focus instead on a range of specific key practices that builds up from relatively simple skills such as being able to read texts aloud or silently through to more complex practices such as being able to discuss and debate ideas. Learning progressions emerge as a way of structuring the relationship between your goals for instruction and the steps you take along the way to get somebody to those goals. The learning progression, the critical idea is that this is following some kind of logical unfolding of things that people need to learn in sequence. So this level of analysis has been done for 11 key practices. And each of these 11 key practices represents a socially valued activity. One of the key practices is argumentation. Our learning progressions capture this kind of unfolding of argumentation skills where people gradually develop the ability to make better claims, to find good reasons to support those claims, to elaborate evidence to back up those reasons, and to rebut other people's reasons and to consider possible counterattacks while trying to build their own arguments up. It's really important to be able to place students on the learning progressions within the class and to be able to differentiate instruction and identify targets for individual students. So I want to build a seventh grade assessment of people's ability to do argumentation. These are the learning progressions I want to emphasize in this assessment. These are the levels I think I need to measure. Now let's design a scenario that's consistent with the unfolding of that key practice and use that as the structure of the assessment to place the items in. Part of the motivation of the scenario-based assessments we've been developing is that we're breaking the complex task down into a series of steps which model what an expert would do so that if someone's not an expert, we can get measurement about how close they are to being able to learn the different pieces and coordinate them. A teacher might not actually have a clear mental model of all of these things themselves. The assessment is a model and you can help teachers have ideas both about how to internalize that in their own practice and how to help students internalize those ideas in theirs. So English language arts is conceptualized as a set of key practices. Each key practice is conceptualized as a set of phases. Each phase is a learning progression. We use that framework to develop prototypes summative assessments, formative assessments. Some of them are scenario-based tasks. Some are more focused and elemental. The third thing that we create is professional development. Handbooks, videos to help teachers understand the foundational framework, prototypes, and how to use them. The CBAL system model intends to target development at different audiences through creating different assessments that respond to those different audiences' needs. The overarching goal of each of those assessments is to not only measure well for the purposes of the audience, but also have positive impact on how those individuals and institutions behave.
we see CBAL being the foundation for other ETS programs, create assessments to create instruction, to create professional development for teachers, for students, adult education, for national assessment, virtually endless variety of applications.